Welcome here. Let us show you a most recent poll, see if you can overcome this. Here is the poll, should police officers be required to wear body cameras? How did you went on this one? Kindly tell us in the comment section below. New York Times champions Trump's border wall in stunning reversal. Trump has done an amazing job against incredible odds. From paralyzing infighting among the GOP to obstructionist Democrats to the media and the courts, if it seems the establishment is aligned against Trump you are right. But that doesn't make them right. In fact, and we should give those who change their minds and accept the new reality bonus points, many of the so-called experts are admitting they were wrong and are changing their tune. Now we have miles to go because the Democrats see political opportunity in staying in the dark, in avoiding the crisis at the border, but if the New York Times flip-flops on the wall, it won't be long before the Dems follow suit. Look, this is a viciously anti-Trump New York Times reporter who actually went to the border and came back a changed man. Once an opponent of Trump's wall and other ideas, and the very same guy who champions immigration to drive down our wages and loves the offshoring industry to destroy what's left of our wages, has witnessed the crisis and now agrees with Trump that we need a wall. Proving there is hope for the left yet. From Fox News Thomas Friedman, a longtime member of the New York Times and columnist for the newspaper since 1995, has been scathing in his criticism of President Trump. In a column last February, the award-winning writer described Trump as the biggest threat to the integrity of our democracy today. During a CNN interview, the Pulitzer Prize winner also called Trump disturbed, adding that if Hillary Clinton were president and done one of the things Donald Trump was accused of doing, she would have been impeached. Yet, Friedman now finds himself standing on the same side as Trump on one of the president's signature issues the border wall. The veteran scribe's latest column begins by detailing a recent trip he took to parts of the southern border. On April 12, I toured the busiest border crossing between America and Mexico the San Isidro port of entry, in San Diego and the walls being built around it, the piece reads. Guided by a U.S. Border Patrol team, I also traveled along the border right down to where the newest 18-foot-high slatted steel barrier ends and the wide-open hills and craggy valleys beckoning drug smugglers, asylum seekers and illegal immigrants begin. It's a very troubling scene. Friedman continued the whole day left me more certain than ever that we have a real immigration crisis and that the solution is a high wall with a big gate but a smart gate. Without a high wall, too many Americans will lack confidence that we can control our borders, and they therefore will oppose the steady immigration we need. The piece continued to discuss how he believes the wall needed a smart and compassionate gate, and the country must welcome immigrants and asylum seekers at a rate at which they can be properly absorbed into our society and workforce. The column is in stark contrast to a piece published in February by the Times editorial board, titled, Phony Wall, Phony Emergency. Contribute and participate with us in sharing and spreading the information to the peak of media. Kindly like, share, and subscribe to our channel to get updates. Thanks for watching.